Tell us about the story of your new Spring Summer 13 advertising campaign. How did you imagine it? Well, I always wanted to be a supermodel. Basically, it was the 90s when we did it. The theme inspiration was 90s for the show. We stopped and said, what were we doing 20 years ago? And that's what we were doing. So we said, you know, at this point, why don't we just do it? Everyone said, don't do it. And when the people say, don't do it, that just makes us want to do it. Um, take a risk. Oh, it's fashion. Live, have fun. Um, it's all about giving and building and making the picture bigger and brighter and better and the best. And I mean, the same simple principles of going on to a dance floor and taking over the dance floor, taking over the club by your presence, your beauty, your, your allure, is the same principle that we use when we're doing a production, a show, um, giving it the most 200% more than just a regular catwalk, more than just regular fashion. Everything's done and overdone and studied from music to sets to, to theme. It's that added plus that maybe we have learned over the times and over the years as really applying ourselves to be as expressive as possible. There's a strength in belief and conviction. And if you are not convinced yourself, you will never convince anyone else. So I think, especially with that past and that that odd lingering on your shoulder, you know, maybe they're clocking me, maybe they're getting me, maybe they're making fun of me. If you walk into a room with one ounce of insecurity, it's over. You're nailed, you're finished, it's done. But if you walk into that room bigger than life, bigger than anyone, and take over the room, you win, and no one has enough nerve or enough balls to even challenge you. And then something changes. It's in the air, it's in the atmosphere. Being a man, being a woman, being where you feel you fit in, being what's best for you, what's right for you, how you feel. Um, some people look in a mirror, they see themselves. Some people look in a mirror, they see a monster. Some people look in a the mirror, they're not sure what they see. They look deeper and deeper. Where am I? Who am I? What do I want to be? Transformation. It's exciting, intriguing. You're somebody else that nobody knows. So you're free with nobody knowing who you are. You can do whatever you want to do. Just think about being somebody else for one night. It's like realizing your fantasy looking into the mirror. Makeup is crucial to the video. Um, I think we were in amazing hands. Charlotte did an amazing job. I think the key thing was um, getting the, the face tight and pulled. We had um, glued uh, tool ties to our all around our face, pulling our cheeks, pulling our neck, pulling our, our, our forehead. All the lines were removed. Um, lots of contouring, lots of um, shadowing on the skin. Our eyes are the same eyes. It's actually interesting to see the eyes in the images as men and the eyes in the images as women. They're exactly the same eyes, but the eyes seem to pop so much more when there's some black surrounding them. Um, it took about two and a half hours for the full makeup session to take place. Um, it started with um, even some, some masks and some some massage therapy to relax the face and then all pulled back. As, at the end of the day when we, we took off our, our elastic pulls, 
we had like scabs and so we were we were kind of scarred after it was it was a little bit strange going from makeup going from being kind of a monster with all these wires and strings pulling your face left right and center to getting the paint on the base on the eyes on the mouth on the contour on um, then going into hair the hair was um, tool front wigs so the wigs were looking like the the hair was actually growing out of our heads there was a sheer transparent tool that was glued to the skin and then trimmed away after makeup on top to blend the hair into the face um, leaving a very natural female hairline that the hair could be brushed up and brushed against and pulled back and looking very authentic and real. Um, Orbe was the hairdresser. Um, he was actually the master of the 90s. Um, such hair ideas for Alaya, um, Mugler, big designers, and most of all the big supergirls of the time and Linda's all her hair changes and hair statements were done by Orbe, so he was the master of hair in the 1990s. And so it was great to have him on set um, doing, doing the hair together with Charlotte doing the makeup. And then to be shot by Merton Marcus, it was kind of the full, perfect package. We don't work in boundaries. It's, it's all part of creativity and fashion and fun. I mean, you can pretend that people don't try their own clothes on, but they for sure they do. Um, we're just a little bit more liberal about it, and it's not it's not, not, not scary for us. It's fun. It's it's just, we do it. It's an alter ego. You become another person for another night. You're on the other side of the mirror. You become your, your imagination, and your imagination comes to life, and then maybe it's Halloween or a carnival or whatever it is. This is things we did in the past. It's a creative release. Um, you know, it takes time, energy to do those kind of things. Um, I think the message is also um, about the timing. Had we had come out, maybe in the beginning of our careers, uh, less established, it might have been looked on as something else. But coming out now, 20 years later, as an established brand, um, and saying something and releasing something and freeing something is used as an inspiration to show somebody what we've been or what we were and what we can accomplish and become. Um, so it's a definitely an inspiring video about people not being hard on themselves and people looking at themselves for what they are and appreciating what they are and appreciating and celebrating what they've done and they're doing and let that strength push you forward and push you faster and stronger to do what you want to do and what you really want to become. There's no taboos here. Well, I guess my dream came true. 808, let's go get him.